guess size doesn't matter. For a sweep and clear. This entire structure is wired with electronic countermeasures. We'll have to reach the surface to get a clear signal. We'll head above ground then. This place is crawling with mutants. Stick close, Doc. Hey! Must run in the family. Welcome back, Commando. So, with the rescue of Mobius, we now have the escort mission to get him out of this place. That's great, Null, Doc, but we gotta make contact with GDI. There's a radio built into the mobile power suit. If we can reach it, we should be able to make contact, but we'll have to get it to the surface first. Also, for whatever reason, Nod seems to prefer arming the mutants that are captured by them. Or Warning. help for processing however it is. All personnel evacuate immediately. It seems the containment alarm has been triggered. This door is using a dual custody lock system. Looks like I have to keep you alive a little longer, huh? So despite the game actually kinda telling you that you shouldn't attack some of your certain units, signified by the the no the green no sign, um it's in your best interest to do so. Now it could be that maybe the game designates them as uh, non-factional, maybe, and that's how they get both sides to fight each other, but uh, regardless, just take them out. It's not worth uh, trying to experiment. It's also particularly annoying, as the loading screen mentioned, the uh, ammo limits are going to be few and far between, and that's mainly because the mutants will use chemical sprayers, and Tiberium-based we weaponry such as that isn't particularly effective against them. And sometimes both sides seem to want to work together, even though milliseconds before they were fighting each other. And if you didn't already hate ceiling guns, well, prepare to see them a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Is. One moment while I power it up. Don't take all day. As I suspected, the radio isn't functional this far down. So for some reason, Nod chose not to bring that armor with them, which seems like a strange decision. The map is mostly the same as well, so unless you absolutely need to uh, explore That's got in it. spots Let's you go. haven't already, it's a little easier to get to your end point. Come to think of it, I don't think I've ever seen uh, AI units fighting each other and then subsequently transforming anybody into uh, viceroids. I have to wonder if there's a connection there. Like maybe it's a player only event? Or action? I don't know. Yeah. 
And because you have a mix of flamethrowers and chemical sprayers as your main enemy, you kind of have to swap between weapons constantly just so that you're getting the most out of the ammo that you have. Strangely too, there's no music, and I'm not quite sure why. I don't think I've ever seen the technician do anything there, so I don't know if that's like a special mini action. In case anybody's curious, Mobius does take damage. I'm just not really sure what the values are on it. I believe the suit gives him uh, immunity to Tiberium weaponry, but... I've never been curious enough to test directly on him. handy that uh, the Brotherhood of Nod has armory slash bathrooms. It's the first time... Oh no wait, we did see him uh, in, a, in the previous video. Acolytes get the Tiberium Auto Rifle. We've seen them before. They're particularly annoying, especially since I believe Tiberium does slightly more damage than uh, Flamethrowers. Um, certainly Tiberium Infection or, or you know, being near Tiberium uh, does have a longer damage over time. Also, you could kind of speed through this in the not having to really deal with everybody on the map. Um, however, unfortunately, uh, one of the, or I think the tertiary objective for this mission uh, is to kill everybody. And for some reason that elevator doesn't want to work. There's no button to call it down. And I don't think there's one on the opposite portion of it either. Like I don't think you can call it, uh, you can force it to go down in the previous mission. And I certainly don't think it saves its position uh, between loading screens. Or between missions I guess. Ceiling guns are kind of the reason why you don't want to waste, or waste quote unquote, uh, rocket launchers. Just because rockets are few and far between to take a line from the loading screen anyways. There's also not a lot of health uh, pickups around, which, again, makes it a little annoying having to deal with all these turrets and then the follow-ups from uh, rocket launcher guys, flamethrowers, etc. That guy in particular is annoying because he's a sniper.
health packs anywhere. This section in particular is actually one you have to pay attention to uh, more than normal, just because Dr. Mobius, for whatever reason, loves to run into this particular office. And considering there are two uh, mutants, as well as a ceiling gun, and a ceiling gun directly outside, um, he tends to lose his, his HP really quickly. So if you're not careful, um, you might end up with a Mobius that's a little too weak to really continue. we have one of the probably best weapons in the game, the uh, the chain laser or laser chain gun. Works exactly the same way as the chain gun, except with laser ammunition, and uh, still keeps that 100 uh, ammo limit. I haven't used the, the uh, personal ion cannon all that much uh, in this entire playthrough just because getting ammunition for it can be a little tough. It doesn't spawn in a lot of different locations. You'll never find it off of enemies as well. Maybe because the, it's just too strong of a weapon. And there's one specific enemy you kind of want to save it for. There's really a case for Mobius uh, running away from you. As long as you're making progress, he kind of moves uh, to certain checkpoints that all make sense. So there shouldn't be any issue. But, you know, keep a close eye on him just in case of stealth soldiers show up, showing up. Thankfully, by the time that you make it to the upper floor, you're kind of done with the mission. There's one last big fight, um, but provided that Mobius isn't like almost dead, you should be fine. This is one of the few times that I actually figured I could use the Tiberium auto rifle, so... It's okay against tanks, or at least the stealth tank in particular, since it shouldn't be well armored. But as always, when you're using Tiberium weaponry, you run the risk of turning something into uh, a Viceroid and then having that turn against you. And thankfully, the Viceroy doesn't count for Nodwa units. 